the training at Fort uh, Lee and Fort Jackson is still going extremely well. I'll use an example. Is I, I was a drill sergeant, and um, I, I think I went 97, 99, and I did the buddy team live fire. And that same buddy team live fire, it has evolved a lot. You know, considerably, but was still executed to standard that I would have done when I was a drill sergeant, and I saw that same buddy team live fire yesterday. So the training is is extremely well done. There is a tactical dispersion, and that same tactical dispersion, especially when you're shooting live rounds, don't make uh, where you're, you're not getting close to each other because you're shooting live rounds. So the standards of training have been well done, and that same training is done at uh, Lee for their AIT and um, – at Fort Jackson. The second point is, as the soldiers go, uh, going back to how we get to the testing at Fort, uh, I did get a chance to go to the TMC and see how they did sick call. So if a soldier's uh, having some symptoms, they would go to this one area, the drill sergeant drops them off, says, oh, you're feeling sick. Okay, go to a totally different building. And then you have someone do the swab, and then that swab goes over to the the testing site, so they have the swabs done right there, goes to the, then it goes to the Gen X and the biofires, and then gets done, and they get the results right there on Jackson. I saw that at the training base, and it's, uh, an, ex it's an extremely well done process, all done right there at Fort Jackson.